Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Helen. I'm so glad you could join me today. Today's video has been several months in the making. I am beyond excited for it. I am doing a snack swap with a YouTube friend of mine, Mary Danny, uh, based in Australia. So I will be trying Australian snacks for the first time. Uh, I am so, so excited. I have this giant, like giant box here. I, I don't even know. It is such a big box of goodies. I can't wait to get in here. I, oh, almost broke a nail. <laughs> I did also just film my witchy uh, Halloween look, so I am kind of like full glam at the moment. I will probably fully regret doing this video with red lipstick on. It will probably be all over my face because as I am unboxing this, I will be trying stuff. I think what I'll do is if I get to anything that needs to like be prepped in advance or somehow made, uh, I'll, I'll save that for the end. Um, and then just like come back and film that part. But I'm just gonna like cut this open and get started. I am so excited. Uh, I also sent Mary Danny a box of US goodies. I'm gonna have her video linked down below and I'm also gonna pop it up in the little info box. I really hope you guys go check out her channel. She is awesome. She is hilarious. I have been following her since I started my YouTube journey um, and she just always makes really great content. I think you guys would really like her. If you like my channel, you will probably like her. Plus, she has an awesome Aussie accent. You cannot beat that. So uh, I am so excited to get started. I'm going to open this up and then we're going to start unboxing. Okay, I have the box open and right off the bat, I'm super excited. The first thing in here are burger rings. Um, so the reason I'm actually even doing this swap, I had watched one of Mary Danny's videos where she did a swap with somebody in the UK and she sent them these and I was like, oh my God, those sound so good. And I got them as well. So I cannot wait to try these. I'm going to open up and try one now. Ah, oh, they smell really good. There are these super cute little rings. They almost look like Funyuns here, but I bet you these are much better. I mean, I don't mind a Funyun, but these probably are delicious. Mm-hmm. It tastes kind of like oniony and garlicky. These are good. These are super snackable. I don't want to go too crazy because this is a really big box. And I'm for sure trying to eat healthy. This box is not included in my eating healthy. I am going to treat myself today. I've been really well. I've been doing really well with my eating and exercise, so I'm gonna allow myself a little treat. Those are definitely a winner. All right, next up. Ooh. So next up I have our nose. I don't know if that's how you say it, our nose or our knots. I'm gonna say our nose. I would call it our nose. Monte Carlo biscuit cookies. This is what they look like. They look super delicious. Um, let's open up and see. Does it have any description? Okay. So it says, experience the delicious pleasure of Arnaud's most iconic cream biscuit, two golden homestyle coconut and honey biscuits filled with smooth vanilla cream whipped in a chewy jam. I love coconut cookies. Um, and it says they've been around for 150 years, so that's pretty awesome. I think we get our nose, like some sort of our nose something here, so that's cool. Oh man, here they are. Look at how good. They're a little squishy, but I mean, they traveled all the way from Australia, so of course they're gonna be a little crumbly and squished, but here we go. Mm hmm these are fantastic. They're super light. They have just a very light hint of coconut taste. They're not like overpowering coconut. But the cookie part is so buttery and so crumbly. And the jam is super good. I really like these. All right. I'm going to save the rest for later because there's still so much in here. All right. Next up, I have a joystick. Looks like it's probably like a lemony taffy type candy. I might save this for a little bit later. I think I'll do like little individual candies 
towards the end because like this is gonna be super chewy um and maybe i'll just like pick one or two flavors to try out all right next up we've got alan's killer pythons and she left a little note here it says be careful we bite super cute so they look like a little bit of a gummy python so it says create smiles with juicy alan's killer pythons the perfect fun size treat grab run stretch it to the max and enjoy each bite color by color Enjoy the flavors of juicy orange, crisp apple, tasty pineapple, luscious mixed berry, and zesty strawberry. Oh my god, they're huge. <laughs> Look at this thing. That is ginormous. And I love a gummy treat. I know I said the gummier ones I was going to save, but... Uh -uh. Mm. So are they all the flavors in one python? Mmm... I love gummy candy. Mm. Yum. I'm gonna bite its head. Mm. Those are really good. I'm gonna grab a few of these little ones that I see right on the top here. So we have some more of those little joysticks that looks like raspberry, strawberry, cherry. Cherry's one of my favorite. And then we have red skins. I'm not sure what it is. It's probably just some sort of chew. So I'm gonna save these and any more like them for the end. All right, this one, oh boy. These babies are fire lighters, not even kidding. You can set one on fire and it will stay alight. Stay alight. Be safe doing this. These are the, these are Cheezels, original cheese flavored snacks. Super cute. I don't think I'm gonna start one on fire. This is her cute little note. I don't think I'm gonna start one on fire um, due to safety reasons. <laughs> I kind of want to avoid doing that. So let's open it up and try some of these cheezels. They're just like these super fun round puff crisps. Mmm. That's fantastic. It's almost like um, a cheese ball or a cross between a crisp like a crunchy Cheeto and a, and a Cheeto puff. I really like these, like a lot. The next one I have is a drink mix, it looks like. So it says, mix me with milk. Uh, heat me on top to do it like the Aussies do. I'm an anytime favorite, hot or cold. Oh, that's fun. Let's see if I can get in here to see what it is. I'm gonna have to cut the note off. Milo, active go. Great hot or cold. So it's like, it looks like it's probably some sort of like hot or chocolate milk mix. What does it say on here? So this is what the canister looks like. I am super excited to try this one out. I don't actually have any milk. I have some almond milk. I'll try it with that and see how that turns out. But I think it's just, yeah, it's malted milk. It's malted milk. It's a malted milk mix. Know your portions. Three heaped teaspoons for 200 milliliters of water, of milk. Okay. I'm excited about this one though. Oh my God. You guys, there's so much in here. There's so much. All right. Next up, we have our nose again. We have mint slice. I'm excited about this one. I love chocolate and mint. And it looks like these are chocolate biscuit cookies with maybe like a mint patty and then covered in chocolate. Crunchy biscuit, velvety mint cream, and our nose real chocolate made from the finest cocoa ingredients and natural milk products carefully combined to create your perfect indulgence. Super excited to try this one. Oh, these are perfect looking. Not even a little squished. Look at how perfect. Mm-hmm. These are like a Thin Mint and a Peppermint Patty combined, which are two of my absolute favorite things. I love this. This is so good. <laughs> I'm getting lipstick all over my nails. I'm eating this whole one. There's so much in here. I know I keep saying that, but I've barely made a dent. I'm going to be visiting friends this weekend, so I'm definitely going to take some of these goodies with me because I'm going to have to share. These can't hang around the house. I will eat every single one of them. All right, next up, 
You're about to experience the taste of tradition. So this must be a super traditional biscuit. So it's Anzac biscuit, Australia's authentic recipe. Let's see what it says. Uh oh, I think Lola's realizing I'm eating stuff. All right, so here's a little info about these biscuits. The Anzac biscuit, as it is known today, came to take a special place in history during World War I. Made with oats, coconut, golden syrup, and no eggs, these biscuits had the unique ability to stay fresh for long periods of time, which meant that they could last time, last the time it took to get to Anzac soldiers uh, fighting overseas. Baked by wives, mothers, and sweethearts, these biscuits symbolize love and care from home. Today, Anzac biscuits are tangible link to our heritage, a reminder of the values that shaped who we are today, and the Anzac biscuits celebrate the Australian spirit and everybody. I love that story. I think that's super sweet. I love that it kind of ties into like Australian history. It's not just like, here's a cookie. It like is part of their history. I really am excited to try this one. Plus, I mean, how can you go wrong with oats and coconut? <laughs> I smell really good. Mm. I didn't even show you guys before I went to go take a bite. That's what the cookie looks like. Mm. These would be amazing with tea or coffee. They're amazing on their own. I feel like we have something similar here. We have a cookie similar and I guarantee it's trying to copy these. These are amazing. These are perfect. Yum. I have a couple more of the little taffy type things. There's a cola flavor and orange. I'll add it to my pile for later. Barely made a dent. All right, next up, I've got our nose shapes originals in barbecue flavor. These are just little crackers, little flavored crackers that look quite delicious. I think there's a couple other ones in here too. We've got uh, shapes Vegemite and cheese. Okay. I might have to try the Vegemite and cheese. I've tried Vegemite once in my life, and this was years and years and years ago, and I hated it. And then it was so gross. But now I'm an adult. I have a different palette, and I feel like it can't be disgusting if it's that popular. Now I know it's probably like an acquired taste, like something you grew up and you love, but I bet you I'm going to like it. So I'm going to try these for sure. Let me just make sure there's not another flavor. Okay, I think I got all the shapes bags. There were several and they all <laughs> sound so good. So there's the shapes mini chicken crimpy, which sounds super good. There's the shapes pizza flavor, also sounds fantastic. I'm probably not gonna try every flavor because there are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's like eight to 10 flavors here. Um, there's the sausage sizzle. That sounds amazing. I will be trying this one. There's a meat pie, which 100% I will be trying this one. Meat pie, like, why is it not a thing here? Like, I dream of going to the UK or Australia and having meat pies because they're everywhere and they look amazing. And they're not here. Like, not in the traditional sense of a meat pie. It's like, the only pies here are sweet and I don't really like sweet pie. I want meat pie. So definitely trying that one. And then I'm for sure going to try the Vegemite and cheese. I think there's also, I think the rest are repeats. Yep. So I'm going to try these three. We're going to start with the sausage sizzle. Let's see if I can get a whole one. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be shaped like Australia. It looks really good. I uh, Maybe not, but I think that's what it's supposed to be shaped like. Oh my god, it smells so good. Those are fantastic. They have that. I don't know how they did it. They literally taste like having like a grilled sausage with grilled onions. Sausage sizzles where it's at. Next, we're going to try the meat pie version again. Cute little shape. It's even better. It does taste like a meat pie. You taste the meatiness and it tastes like actual like pie crust. Those are a winner. This is so much fun guys. Water break. Now for the more exciting one. Vegemite and cheese flavor. It smells fine. It 
It's great to me. It doesn't really even taste like anything. Except a little cheesy. I know Vegemite itself is stronger than this, but I really like the texture of the crackers. They're like really nice and crispy, crunchy. Okay, I think those were definitely a hit. On to the next item. You guys, I'm like, I think I'm just maybe at halfway through this box. Insane. Mary Danny, you like, seriously, you went hard. <laughs> All right. Next up, I have Twisties Chicken flavored snack. So these are probably gonna be some cute little twisty, little cracker crisp type things. Yep, that's exactly what they are. They look like Cheetos. Little chicken flavored Cheeto. Mm -hmm. They taste like I literally took a chicken bouillon cube and like sprinkled it over an unflavored Cheeto. I say I like the shapes better, but these are great. I have like a pile of unopened and a pile of opened to try and keep things a little bit organized. All right, next up we've got Jumpy's uh, Crunchy Potato Snacks, chicken flavored. And of course there's little kangaroos on there. Super cute. Oh my. <laughs> They're so cute. They are kangaroo shaped. Look at the little baby kangaroo cracker. That is so cute. Mmm. I like these. You get that potato taste? Because I think the other ones have been like corn or crackery. Like flour, but these are like the perfect little munchy. I can't stop. They're so good. Mm. Okay. Next up, I'm actually going to take out some of the doubles I have. I have some more jumpies and twisties. I do have a couple bags of the twisties and cheese flavor. And then I have some zigzag twisties and wicked cheddar. So I'm going to try the zigzag in wicked cheddar. Oh, these are fun. These look like the same consistency as those burger rings. Really light and airy. These are really good. Australia's got some like awesome, just like really snackable, yummy, like cracker crisp type things. All right, next up. God, there's still so much, you guys. Ooh, we got Twisty's cheeseburger flavor. I'm going to try this one. It's cheeseburger flavor. I got to try it. Mmm. It legitimately tastes like a cheeseburger. Like I can taste the pickles, the ketchup, the meat. How are they doing that? I like these a lot more than the chicken. The chicken was fine, but these are fantastic. Again, it's just like a little Cheeto. A cheeseburger Cheeto. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. <laughs> God, there's still so many. All right, we have fizzy sherbet packs. I'm not sure what to do with these. I assume that you add them to liquid, to water. I think I know what this is. Spread me on toast, but only a little bit. I'm an Aussie staple. Hope you like me. I guarantee this is Vegemite. I see the yellow tube and everything. Yes, <laughs> I got a, a tube of Vegemite. I am so excited. I'm going to grab some bread in a little bit when I'm done with everything else. And I'm going to try this on toast in front of the camera for you guys. I think I mentioned it already before. I have tried it once when I was a kid. I did not like it. So we'll see how I react this time. All right, next up. Ooh, we've got some milk chocolate Kit Kats. This is a giant bar of Kit Kats. We don't get no giant bars like this. I mean, I guess we do, but yum. I am. I love Kit Kats. Kit Kats are my favorite. So I am going to open this. I think the Kit Kats, like the giant ones we have, are literally like a giant candy bar Kit Kat. But this is just like a really nice big bar of Kit Kats. <laughs> I know. There's probably people out there cringing about how I'm eating this Kit Kat. But it broke. Mmm. These are not like our Kit Kats. I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying this. But chocolate anywhere outside of the U.S., Depending on the chocolate. I'm talking like cheap candy bar chocolate. Anywhere outside of the U.S. is far superior than the, what we have here. This tastes like 
Kit Kat, but with Cadbury chocolate. It's so good. Mm. Does it end up being such a long video? I'm not complaining. I am so happy. We've got an Arnaud's Wagon Wheel chocolate coated marshmallow and jam. That looks delicious. All right, I'm gonna take a bite of this one. Definitely not eating the whole thing. The jam part's kind of really light. It's not too heavy. And the marshmallow isn't overpowering. I like that one. All right, next up, we've got Pascal's Milk Bottles. These are fun. They're super squishy. It's like a gummy kind of candy. And they're literally just little milk bottles. They're good. It tastes like something. I don't know what. My filming area is just candied out. <laughs> uh oh, I see something I'm gonna really like. Cadbury Cherry Ripe. I'm hoping it's like some sort of cherry with chocolate. I love chocolate and cherry. Love it, it's my favorite. Ripe Juicy Cherries and Coconut in Old Gold Rich Dark Chocolate. Oh my God. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to try that, or I'm gonna need to try and find this somewhere in the US because I imagine this is gonna be fantastic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. This has probably jumped to my favorite candy of what I've tried so far. All right. God, there's still so much. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys what it is and I'm just like tearing it open. These are trolley strawberry clouds. These are really cute little gummies. Oh, they're so cute. This cute little cloud shape. Mm -hmm. I really like those, those were really good. They're like the sugar outside kind of makes it a little like crispy. And then the inside is like that nice gummy flavor. Those are really good. Next up, I've got pods. I don't know if it's pods by Mars or Mars pods, but it looks like it's uh, caramel with chocolate and wafer. These look fantastic. I know we have like Mars brand here. And this is what the little wafer pod looks like. Mm -hmm. Those are good. It almost tastes like some sort of cereal, the wafer part. <laughs> oh man. All right, I'm gonna go with these two here because this was actually something I mentioned I really liked. So a few years, well, more than a few years, I don't know how many years, but a while back Target started selling uh, Tim Tams. And it was like this big deal because it was like this Australian treat that they were finally selling. And I love them. I don't get them often as I should, but I love them. So she sent me the original Tim Tam and then she sent me the Chewy Caramel. Now I have not tried the Chewy Caramel. I have tried the original. I'm gonna save the original uh, to be opened at another time since I do have so much stuff here. Um, but I am gonna open up the Chewy Caramel and try one of these. Oh, they smell so good. And they're just like this super cute little wafery sandwichy thing coated in chocolate. Fantastic. You get that like caramel hole. Mm-mm-mm. I'm starting to get sweeted out, which is unheard of. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. We are getting towards the bottom. There's still a bunch of stuff, but we are getting towards the bottom. All right. Now I've got Extreme Sour Strap Strawberry Flavor. So these are like a, probably just like a gummy with a sour taste. I'll go ahead and open one of these up. Oh, they're in like a little tray. You know, this is like the second or third strawberry flavor thing I've had. 
in this box. They do strawberry flavor right. It's like the perfect strawberry flavor. These are not very sour, <laughs> but they're very good. We have two more packages of cookies. Oh my gosh. So we've got iced Vovos, both of them. One is Lamington. So I think maybe that means there's it's chocolate. So treasured biscuit favorite topped with pink fondant, a strip of jammy raspberry topping and sprinkling of coconut. That's the regular Vovo. And then the other one with the Lamington. We reimagined our ice Vovo with flavors from the iconic Australian Lamington, a delicious biscuit base topped with chocolate fondant, a jammy raspberry topping, all sprinkled with coconut flakes. So since this one is both the traditional uh, Vovo cookie and a traditional Lamington Australian dessert. I'm going to try this one. And they're just these super pretty little biscuits. And then the other side has that chocolate and jam and coconut. I am just covered in crumbs. <laughs> I would say out of all the cookies, this is lower on my list. The cookie part is a little denser, but it's still delicious. So we're down to last a couple things here. The Natural Confectionery Co. And we've got Rainbow Snakies, <laughs> Snakies, <laughs> Rainbow Snakes and Sour Squirms. So I think I'll try one uh, over the other just because they are both kind of the same deal. And uh, I'm going to go with the sour worms to see if these are more sour than the sour strawberry. Here's our sour worm. Mmm, these are really good. Mmm. Again, not very sour, in my opinion. All right, we just have a couple more things here. I'm just going to take them out. This bag o powder and it says sprinkle me on buttered bread and feast like the fairies. You will see me at every kid's party back home. That's her little note. And I'll go ahead and unwrap this guy. Oh cute. It's like little sprinkles. <laughs> These are super cute. And it just says, toppings ideal for cakes, desserts, and ice cream. That's adorable. I'll definitely put these on some toast. Probably not today because I still have to put Vegemite on my toast. Um, but definitely at some point I will be using these. These are super adorable. They're nice little colorful sprinkles. All right, next up I have a Mentos Rainbow. I think... I may have also sent her Mentos, but I'm not sure. I'm going to save this for another time uh, because we do have Mentos here. But I don't know if I sent her Rainbow or not, but I think maybe I sent her Mentos. It's been a long time. I don't remember, but I do love the, the fruit flavored Mentos. All right, next up we have a Chomp Bar, a Caramel Chomp Bar. It's a Monster Chew. That's super cute. Does it say what it is? It says a wafer and caramel coated with compound chocolate. Let's take a bite of this guy. And it just looks like a little thin chocolate bar. Mmm. That's good. The caramel is super chewy and it kind of works with that wafer. I really like that. All right. I got one more chocolate thing and then one more treat thing. So these are the Cadbury Dairy Milk Caramello Koala. <laughs> it's so cute. And it's just like, I think, a chocolate or caramel koala covered in chocolate. So of course I'm going to eat this one because you got to see the cute little koala inside. And he's super adorable. And I'm just going to take a bite. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. -hmm. Mm. There is nothing like Cadbury chocolate. That to me is like the chocolate they put on the Kit Kats. So good. All right, we've got one last item. And then we also have those Chewies. Maybe I should do the Chewies because this is like a hard candy. So I also got these Aussie Drops. 
eucalyptus, really eucalyptus, really handmade, really Aussie. I got a couple of bags of these. I'm interested to try these. I really like the scent of eucalyptus. I don't know if I've ever had it. Um, so what I'll do is I'll do this one last uh, after I try one of these toffee things. I'm going to go for the Joysticks Cola flavor. So I'm going to try this guy. Then I'm going to try the eucalyptus thing, let you know how I feel about that. When I'm done with that, I'm going to go up and make a piece of toast and put some Vegemite on it. And then I'll try that for you guys. And then we'll wrap up from there. This was such an epic box. Like seriously, Mary Danny, you did amazing. Thank you so much. Like, oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. 100% like I'm drinking soda right now really good really good and really chewy all right now for one of these eucalyptus treats mm. i have had eucalyptus i think they put them in our cough drops which actually i kind of like it's a little weird because I've had so much sugar and sweet stuff. It's a little weird mixed with that. But it does very much remind me of cough drop. And I like that because my grandpa used to walk around with cough drops in his pocket. And he used to give it to us as candy <laughs> when we were little. So this kind of reminds me of that. I actually really like it. It's a really nice light herbal. So what I'm going to do now is go make some toast. I'm going to spread some Vegemite on it. I'll probably do that here on camera. And then I'm going to grab, uh, well, you know, I do have some half and half. So maybe it'll probably be really rich. But I'll probably do like a, a like quarter serving of that to try the Milo drink mix. All right. I will be right back. Okay, guys. I am back. I have my toast here. And I should probably clear some space. I've got my Vegemite tube here and we're going for it. So all Vegemite is, is I think like fermented yeast extract, which it's nothing scary. <laughs> I think it's one of those things that came around during like World War One or World War II. I, I did not look this up, so I actually have no idea, but I think it's one of those things I came around during that time where it was like hard to get nutrition and nutrients to kids. And so this was like a good way to do it um, for their B vitamins. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think I saw something on TV at some point discussing that. All right. So I'm going to do this very sparingly. And I'm going to spread it on. I put this much on. I'm going to spread it thin. It looks delicious. I mean, it looks like chocolate spread. But it for sure is not chocolate spread. Maybe I need a little more. This is low-carb bread, so it's kind of dry. And it's like soaking it in. I have a very thin, even layer. So I'm going to try it. It's very salty, but past the salty, it's actually not bad. Um, I don't like the bread it's on because it's low carb bread, so it doesn't have that real bread taste, but it's really not bad. I feel like this would be good mixed into stuff, almost like soy sauce or fish sauce. Are there recipes with Vegemite? There should be if there aren't. Okay. Not as bad as I was thinking. I think it's just super salty and that's kind of it. It doesn't really taste like anything in particular. So next up, we're going to try this Milo drink. I have some milk here and uh, it says, she said to heap it on top. How do I open it? I do have cold milk. I guess I'm just going to cut this and... I don't know how much is what the powder looks like. I don't know how much milk I have in here, so I'm just gonna go heavy because 
You never have too much chocolate in your chocolate milk. All right, so I mixed it in. I don't know if I was supposed to mix it in because she said to heap it on top. But I mixed it in. It's a little lumpy on top still, but it looks fantastic. It looks like chocolate milk, so I'm going to go for it. I don't actually know if it's a chocolate malt or if it's just regular malt. It's good though. I could probably even use a little bit more. It definitely tastes like malt though. All right. I think that's it for this epic, massive box. This was such a fun video to do. I am so glad we did this. Mary Danny, thank you so much. I really appreciate you sending me this box. You did such a great job. And it's just such a fun way to experience other cultures and other parts of the world uh, through food. This was fantastic. I really hope you enjoyed my box as well. Uh, it was so fun to put together. It's also so fun that you guys are going into summer. We're going into fall and into winter here. So it's just like so cool to be like on completely opposite sides of the world and have this kind of connection. We have YouTube connection. It's just it blows my mind. I would love to do more videos like this. If there's anyone out there watching that wants to do a snack swap with me, send me some of your favorite snacks from your childhood or whatever, or from your culture. Uh, let me know. Reach out to me through my email I have listed down in the description box. Uh, this was so fun. I would love to do more videos like this. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. And if you'd like to see more videos like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I post beauty related videos every Wednesday and Sunday, and then I post lifestyle videos on Fridays. I really hope to have another video like this for you guys uh, at some point in the future. And until then, I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.